Since its discovery, Proxima b, an Earth-like exoplanet in our near-cosmic vicinity, has drawn interest from astronomers and space enthusiasts. We may have discovered life on this intriguing planet, which circles the star Proxima Century and offers important insights into the circumstances of existence on other worlds. Proxima b can now be seen in the superworld with the best image possible thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Merely 4.2 light-years from Earth, Proxima b is an intriguing exoplanet circling the star Proxima Century in our galaxy. This planet is extremely unusual because of two factors, how much it resembles Earth and how close it is to us. Imagine discovering the conclusive evidence that a distant extraterrestrial culture resides there. Though it would take hundreds or thousands of years for us to establish contact, we could send radio signals to Proxima b that would be received and responded to quite quickly. Proxima b was one of the initial contenders for the discovery of extraterrestrial life when the planet was first found in 2016. Its orbit is within the star's habitable zone, which means that there is a chance that there will be liquid water on the planet's surface. Not only did scientists find it intriguing that Proxima b might be a planet with oceans, atmosphere, and possibly even life. Following the announcement of the finding, the news quickly went global, inspiring curiosity in this exotic world in our cosmic neighborhood among millions of individuals. Proxima b can support biological life despite being far closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. Being a tiny red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri is significantly colder than our Sun. It's possible that Proxima b has characteristics so comparable to Earth's that this planet is referred to as a super-Earth. Should the Earth become uninhabitable, might humanity eventually dwell on this far-off planet? With its superior ability to study exoplanets more closely than any previous observatory, the James Webb Space Observatory now holds the key to provide answers to all of these concerns. What information could James Webb find out? The technological wonder that is the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, is pushing the boundaries of space research to unprecedented heights. It has been carefully built to disclose the deepest secrets of the universe and unravel the greatest riddles of cosmology with its state-of-the-art technology and ultra-fine equipment. One of the James Webb mission's three primary goals is to find exoplanets and determine how similar they are to Earth. Naturally, this also covers Proxima b's in-depth observation, the massive primary. Mirror of the JWST, which has a diameter of 6.5 m and is made up of 18 segments that resemble honeycombs, is one of its most remarkable characteristics. Because of its larger mirror than the Hubble Space Telescopes, the telescope can see things that are far fainter and farther away. Whether it's the first stars and galaxies in the universe or the feeble light pulses scattered by exoplanets, the size of the mirrors is critical for gathering extremely weak light pulses, which in turn boosts the resolution and sensitivity of the telescope many times over. For the first time, James Webb expertly records these low-light missions and puts them together into a clear picture. Exoplanets, of course, simply reflect the light from their stars and do not produce any light of their own. Exoplanets are, in a way, like little dots in the immensity of the universe, where even stars eventually fade into obscurity. If two conditions did not prove their existence, we would not be able to see them at all. First, when they pass in front of their star, they eclipse it somewhat. And second, their own gravity significantly modifies the gravity and hence the rotational orbit of their stars. Kepler is one of the telescopes that engineers and astronomers have created expressly to find these minute variations. Over its operational lifetime, it has identified hundreds of exoplanets, but it has not yet been feasible to conduct a more thorough analysis of the planet's environs. With the advent of the new super telescope, which uses four primary instruments, 
this is suddenly changing. The camera with near-infrared, the spectrograph in the near-infrared, near-speech. For the first time, an amazing spectrum of various light wavelength ranges, from visible light to mid-infrared, can be captured and properly analyzed by the near-infrared instrument NEARIS and the mid-infrared instrument MIRI. These devices can gather light from far off or extremely dark planets and use the light's wavelengths to look for signs of different elements and compounds. With the use of these technologies, it is possible to determine which exoplanets exhibit oxygen, rock, or even crucial water and have an atmosphere. Even the approximate temperature of an exoplanet close to CAM will be known to us. The JWEST's primary camera system will be essential for researching exoplanets like Proxima b. It's ideal for transit observations, which gauge a star's brightness when a planet moves in front of it. The planet's atmosphere may potentially be revealed by these measures. By dividing an object's light into its many wavelengths, NearSpeak allows one to ascertain an object's temperature, chemical, makeup, and other characteristics. This will be essential for studying Proxima b's atmosphere and searching for chemical clues that point to the presence of life. In addition to capturing mid-infrared light and enabling the observation of warmer objects in space, MIRI is capable of other fascinating feats that will captivate you. This extremely precise measurement device was able to identify fake light signals coming from Proxima b. Even if MIRI couldn't find a single light bulb blazing in an alien home, the device would have little trouble picking up light emissions from bigger cities or other intense light sources, such as the lights in airports or industrial facilities. These equipment combined with the massive amount of light, the primary mirror's gathering potential, elevates the JWST to the status of a celestial telescope. We have made significant progress in our hunt for extraterrestrial life with the ability to photograph exoplanets such as Proxima b and potentially even find indications of artificial lights or other proof of advanced civilizations. With this, astronomy is entering a completely new era and some of our long-standing questions are now being answered. The exoplanet LHS 475b was observed by the James Webb Space Telescope on August 31, 2022 using its near-infrared spectrograph. As a result, LHS 475b became the first exoplanet that the JWST formally confirmed. In this instance, confirmed indicates that the measurements have yielded the first ever absolute assurance regarding the existence and exoplanet status of LHS 475b LHS 475b a small, rocky planet about 41 light-years from Earth has all the makings of a super-Earth as well. It is nearly exactly the same size as Earth. It's interesting to note that LHS 475b is closer to its star than any planet is to the Sun. Because of its red dwarf star's lower temperature, the planet may have an atmosphere and even support life, despite its close closeness to it. What in this world have I just discovered? I was shocked to see that, in my analysis of LHS 475b, there was not a single molecule or element that could be detected in the light emission. Since the planet most likely lacks an atmosphere, the likelihood of finding higher life forms there is very slim. This test run was critical to the mission's success, even if the planet proved to be pretty uninteresting. The findings show that JWST is capable of performing in-depth spectroscopic examinations of exoplanets. This ability is critical to understanding Proxima b's chemical makeup and possible habitability. Astronomers had a fantastic chance to test the new telescope and search for indications of atmospheres other than water on exoplanets during the first voyage to LHS 475b. The researchers are searching for biomarkers, which are gases or compounds released by living organisms or for traces of carbon dioxide. Unlike LHS 475b, WASP-39b is another EXO world that the James Webb Space Telescope studied in great detail. 
The striking discovery produced a wealth of measuring information. We now know that WASP-39b is a hot gas planet covered in haze and water clouds. The telescope picked up tiny drops in the brightness of certain light hues, which revealed the existence of very specific gas molecules. Each element and every gas has a characteristic light-scattering signature. Consider how difficult it would be to identify even minute differences in the few amounts of light that we receive from in planets such as WASP-39b. The atmospheric composition diagram displays four transmission spectra taken in four different operating modes by three of the JWWST instruments. Carbon monoxide, water, and potassium traces are visible in the data obtained from the slitless spectrograph and near-infrared imager. Although there was no life here, the measurement's accuracy represents a significant advancement in exoplanet research and a testament to human technological prowess. What did we discover in a made-up future that will eventually point its advanced sensors toward Proxima b, which might use its spectrometers to break through Proxima's atmosphere and reveal comprehensive compositional information to us? Maybe it will pick up water traces or perhaps complex chemical molecules that are a sign of life. Maybe the telescope will show us proof that Proxima rotates in its bound state. This would imply that the climate on this planet is extremely harsh. There is a side that is perpetually brilliantly hot and probably inimical to life, and there is another side that is constantly dark and extremely cold. But Proxima b also most likely possesses an intermediate zone that is temperate enough to support liquid water and possibly even life. Assume you reside on a planet where the sole livable area is a strip surrounding a sort of vertical equator. It becomes hotter and brighter in one direction and colder and darker in the other. It would be similar to traveling toward the poles, which are in reality dangerous regions for people like us. In fact, the MIRI device may discover traces of water and biosignatures, as well as non-natural light signals. One of the primary backers of Psi's groundbreaking research, multi-billionaire Yuri Milner, hopes to send nano-spacecraft within the next 10 years to explore the Proxima system and thoroughly examine any potential Earth-like planets.